All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, here's an interesting article that I found. Okay, you know, adding more to the signs of the times. Okay, um, it says here, climate apocalypse is coming, says U.S. Army, eyeing opportunity for more uh, intervention. All right. Um, it says a new U.S. Army report report envisions a bleak near future as a consequence of climate change, with power and water shortages, uh, refugee flows, and also more opportunities for intervention and seizure or seizing natural resources in the Arctic. Behind the dull title of implications of climate change for the U.S. Army lies a 52-page report by a team of scientists outlining apocalyptic scenarios. Conflicts driven by hundreds of millions of people displaced by rising sea levels, collapse of the U.S. power grid and transportation, and the inability of the U.S. Army, or slack, and the inability of the Army itself to provide water for its troops, but to name but a few. All right, so they're saying that "Quote unquote climate change, all right, is 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 going to lead to things like this, and these are just a few things that they they listed, like it says in the near future, all right, the collapse of the U.S. power grid and transportation. Now you have um, I think it's E G and E power outage, all right, because in California they're having these power outages. Uh. As a matter of fact, they said they were gonna take down the shut shut down the power today. Um, in California. I want to see if I can find a good article. Let's try this. Because uh, they explain to you why. Okay, it says, uh, if PG&E cuts power Saturday, much of Bay Area will be in dark. Um, let's see. Okay, let me let this load a little bit because it's moving kind of slow. Okay, so now what's act up? Hey, you know, that's just saying, man. That's just saying. All right. Um, it says PG&E has released a map of areas that potentially that may potentially lose power if public safety power uh shut off were to occur Saturday, October October 26th in 2019, which is today. All right. Um, yeah, the areas in the orange are areas estimated to be affected by the power outage. Uh, Pacific Gas and, ele and Electric is closely watching the weekend forecast for a severe wind event that could lead the utility company to turn off power to nearly 400,000 Bay Area customers in eight countries to reduce the risk of wind damaged equipment sparking wildfires. Another 450,000 customers in 28 other countries may go in the dark, impacting a total of 850,000 uh, Northern California customers. All right, PG&E said in a statement Friday that power outages could begin Saturday in Alame Alame Alameda Contra, Costa, Marin, Napa, San, San uh, Mateo, Santa Clara, Solano, and uh, Sonoma. The outage maps show much of Bay Area in the dark. Okay, and and look, man, this is this is something that ain't nobody 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 wants power outages, man. Especially when they tell you they're about to shut it down. But I just brought that out because as I was reading in here in this article, it uh, reminded me of that. You know, and the reason being, you know, uh, this whole wildfires and all these different things, they're trying to, quote unquote, prevent that. So they're they're shutting down the power and all that. All right. 
but like it says here, <clears throat> yet it is also for, uh, it also foresees a greater role the army can play, both mitigating and uh, mitigating um, the effects <clears throat> of these changes inside the U.S. and intervening in the results of calamities overseas. The report was commissioned by May then um, May then Army Chief of Staff General Mark um, Miley who has since been promoted to chair uh, the G GCS, published by the Army the Army War's Colleagues Center for Climate Security back in August, it has attracted little attention until recently, when uh, Nafiz Ahmed reported in his findings for Vice. One of the most apocalyptic short-term scenarios featured in the report is the collapse of the U.S. power grid within the next 20 years, but here's the thing. It says, well, let me finish it. Leaving the country without refrigeration, water treatment, lights, heating, air conditioning, communications, public transportation, fuel distribution, or pretty much anything a technological civilization requires. But they're saying the next 20 years because they're, they're sort of quote unquote estimating based on how things are going now. But keep in mind, man, you, you it's obviously it's not going to be going at a constant rate. The way things are getting bad isn't going to remain at a constant rate. The Lord might just speed it up. As a matter of fact, he will speed it up. All right? Because that's prophecy. So now 20 years comes down to what? 20 months, 20 weeks. You know, we don't know how long. But the point is, when they throw these numbers in here, 20, 50 years, 30 years, and all the, that's 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 not realistic. All right? And they might be, that's an estimate in their mind. Of how much they, how long they think they have, but the Lord, the Lord says He's going to come suddenly. Okay. Um. It says, uh, so I read a little bit more. It says it's not just distribution, but power uh, generation that is at risk. Of the ninety-nine nuclear reactors operating in the U.S. and providing nearly twenty percent of the country's power, sixty percent are located in regions that are likely to suffer from one or more climate threats from sea level rise and severe storms to water shortages, all right? And guess what, man? Them, them water shortages ain't no joke, all right? That is not a joke, man, because you 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 don't, people, see, people don't, when, you, when, they, when they leave their, their, their tap on and all these things, you know, they don't uh, keep in mind that there's going to come a, a day when they're not going to have that luxury of being able to do all that, okay? And when that happens, what are you going to do, man? OK, when you lose all these different things, air conditioning, heating and all these different things and you're on the run, actually having to put your hands to work. OK, actually having to be active, which people don't do, man. People barely walk. They definitely don't run. All right. They eat unhealthy. OK, and they don't know what hardship is like. OK, they don't know what it's like to sweat before you eat, because the kind of jobs they do is what sitting in an office, you know, walking around, selling things to customers. You know, it's, it's a lot of it isn't really, you know, um, physical strenuous work. OK. So, yeah, man, uh, you, this place, this place is, 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 is the Lord is going to give this place a rude awakening, man. All right. And that's why all these things are happening. These are all a part of the signs of the times. OK. So as prophets, what our job is to watch and notify and let you know what's, what's going on, man. All right. But with that, all right, I'm in the here. Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.